All right, well, we're doing a COVID test. This is required before you go on a cruise ship currently, unless they change the policy again. But yeah, you have to have, uh, let's see, we got we got two of them here. I'll, she'll take one, and then you said we have to show an ID, which yeah, you we won't show. Sh your, if you have a state ID or your driver's license, you have to show that so that they know it's you, you know, that's taking the test. So. Yeah. We're not going to show you that on camera. We're just giving you the insight. So I'm letting, letting her start here. Scan the barcode. Select the state and you go to emed.com <clears throat> or South Kakalaki. Once you get in your account, you allow them to pry through your phone and you give them your name and your birth date. Do you have another test? It yeah. actually asks you if you have the test, yes. Do you have? Photo ID. Yes, this is for travel. What cruise line? You have to pick your cruise line. Ours is Carnival. We're not traveling by air. Country is the United States. What city are you currently in? Driven. Yes, we hear the sound. You have to let them use your mic. You have to um, allow them to do to access your phone, your phone, your camera. You know, they just invade your privacy. Yeah. Okay, so it knows that the speakers are working, the microphone is working. Now it's checking the camera. And now to check the internet connection. Continue. Yep. Yes, let's start. They they do this twenty four seven, so you can go on any any time, day or night. If there's a long with like a half an hour or so, just come back. Ooh, I'm up next. Ooh. You're up next. Oh, there you are. I am. Okay, good. Yeah, reversed it for you. That's okay. nice. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Hi, my name is Deep I will be your certified guide. Together, we will prepare and activate your test kit. Is this your first time testing with EMIT? Yes. Great. Welcome to EMIT. To ensure that your test is supported, we will need to verify its expiration date. So please hold your test box with a white label on the back of the box to your device camera. Why is it flipped? I don't know, I guess I can do it. You need to hold it to your device back camera. Thank you. May I please have the name and date of birth of the person being tested? Karen. Date of birth? Hold your ID close to device camera so I can view it. Move it little back. You see the whole thing. Thank you. Can you confirm you are the owner of the account user to log in? Yes, I am. I can see that you have not updated your middle name in Navigate account and your test results will be coming without your middle name. 
Yeah. So is it okay to continue the test? Yes, that's okay. If your connection drops, click on the message that says click here to reconnect. Now okay. Please tilt your camera so I can see your test box on a flat surface. Instructions for this test will be on the screen. Open your test box. There should be a sales test card, a sales swap, and a bottle of liquid. Yes. Now take the test card out of its package. And hold your test card in front of your device camera to scan the QR code. Device back camera for scanning. Oh, okay. This thing keeps going backwards. I don't know why it keeps doing that. That's annoying. Oh, from the back. Is this? There it goes. Okay. Move it little back, please. You need to move the test card a little back. Continue. Okay. Now open the test card and lay it completely flat like an open book, ensuring the two holes are on the right side of the card and do not touch the inside of the test card. Take the swab out without touching the foam tip. screen up. We are going to swap each nostril beginning with your left. Insert the swap at least half an inch into the left nostril and rotate five times against the sides of your nostril. Okay. Okay. Next 
do the same for the right nostril. Okay. Now tilt the screen again down. Keep the card on the table and thread the swab through the bottom pole until visible in the top pole. Swap shaft three times to the right and leave it in the card. Okay. Peel off the adhesive liner from the right edge of the test card. Okay. And close the left side of the card and keep the card face up on the table. In a moment, we'll activate your timer. The test card must stay flat and stationary. Do not touch the test card during this time. A certified guide will be with you in 15 minutes to assist you in interpreting your results. Meanwhile, I will play an informational video while you wait. You are free to move away from the screen, but make sure you are back before the 15 minutes are up. Alright, thank you. Thank you. So I'm starting the timer now. Thank you for choosing email. Okay, thank you. And we just wait 15 minutes mm -hmm. to see the results. Yeah. yeah, this is a mount so we can angle the um, camera down so they can see everything that we're doing. And then you, your results are basically look like a, a sucker. Got less than a minute before the results are ready. So I kept moving the camera for some reason. It keeps. Well, they kept flipping the camera from the front, front to, the, to back. the back. Yeah. yeah. For some odd reason, I've seen the videos of people doing this. That seems to be a common occurrence. That yeah. they're they're um, no matter what it is, Apple or Android, the camera for some reason will stay forward for a few minutes and then it'll automatically flip, flip to the back. Well, I don't I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah, this is an experiment in progress. That's why we let her go first, because then I'll be going next. Mm -hmm. But they tell you what to do. They talk you through it, you know, so it's pretty easy to do. Mm -hmm. All right, less than 10 seconds. So we'll wait for the rep to come on now. Bidding. Okay, now let her know to come back on the camera. You're up next. Yeah. Hello, and thank you for choosing Emad. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you for waiting. My name is Shira. I will be your certified guide. Together, we will interpret and record your results. Okay. Please hold your test card in front of your device camera to scan the QR code and so I can see the result. On the other side. This side. Is this thing acting up again? It's flipped it around. It flipped it towards the back again. I don't know why this... Okay, please use the back camera this time. Okay. Please move it a bit farther away. Okay, farther, please. Okay, thank you so much. I got it now. There are three possible outcomes of the test. Positive, negative, and invalid. 
please look at the result window on the front of the card and look carefully for pink lines. The line in the sample window can be very faint. Do you see two pink horizontal lines? Please nope. compare to the sample results on the screen. Nope, just one. Okay, just to confirm, do you see only a single pink horizontal line? Yes. Next to the word control at the top of the results window. Yes. Please compare to the sample result on the screen. Yes. Okay? Uh, yes, that's all you I see. You tested negative for COVID-19. If you experience COVID-related symptoms, mm -hmm. you may require additional testing to confirm that you don't have COVID-19. If you have questions, contact your healthcare provider or local health department. Please wait a moment while we record your results, and your test results and digital paths will be sent to your Navica app. If ever you have further questions or concerns regarding the test, you may contact our customer support through the link that I provided on our chat box. Goodbye and thank you for choosing Imad, and please dispose of the card, drop your bottle, and swap in your trash. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So, was it negative? Yeah. Okay, because I didn't hear. It sounds like she's reading from a cue card or something. Yeah, she's telling she's <clears throat> telling you about the different ones. If the one up top, if there's just one line across control, that's that's negative. Okay, so this is the result. So, if you've got two, two lines, then you're positive, but yeah. you've got one line, you're negative. Yeah. So, based on this, my girl is negative. You negative Kate. So now, I guess it's my turn. You want to save this as a souvenir? We'll put no, ours together. Can, oh yeah, you can just yeah. We'll keep them until you're done. Yeah. So then we'll have to swap seats here. Yeah. Thank you for cooperating with Emed. Yeah. I guess I got some other stuff there. Yeah, see, we're we're in my office. That uh, this figured would probably be the best place to do this this here test. So let's swap this here. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I got it. I'll it. check it. All right, now it is my turn, so I have to get my personal information out here, and we'll have to take her phone off. We got this little camera holder here and holds the phone in place. So now it's my turn. And we got ours from Amazon. So, all right, let's see here. Get logged in. I might need you to help me translate. Turned it off because it's pressing the power button. Oh. Right now, I gotta wait for it to boot up. So I can't open the test, it's gotta remain sealed. Now, I actually purchased these because this is what they require for the cruise carnival, I guess all of them. Mm -hmm. So it's a money grab. Now, the cool thing about my insurance, all I did was submit the bill for the total cost. Which was what was it, like a hundred and seventy nine dollars, yeah, something like that. With tax. With tax. And I submitted the receipt to my insurance and they reimbursed me one hundred percent. So I got everything refunded. So this is again, this is what they require on the cruises. So now is my phone boots up. This is made by Abbott Benax now. B I N A X and this is the COVID home COVID nineteen AG home test. Do not open until instructed to do so. so that's why I got the seal here, so I can't I can't open it. So oh, come on, stern phone. Yeah, while we were waiting, we had some pizza for lunch. Yeah. So what you're doing? Is it going to show your results? It's supposed to. Would be 
read your email. Yeah. How is this rebooting? Yeah, because the thing turned my power button off. I guess I was holding it so long that it turned the phone off. So that's one thing you have to worry or look for when you have one of these phone grips that it doesn't hit your power button. All right, now let me get back on my phone here. Come on. Okay. Navica is the website on the phone that you'll have to use. It's their app for doing the COVID test. Let's see, I am at a test site, I have a test. So we'll go that route since I have a test right now. And then it gives you the options, the Binax Now COVID-19 AG card home, which is what I have. Oh, I guess you sent me a uh, text. I haven't sent you anything. Yeah, it was from you. Oh, that's from earlier. Oh, just now came through. Okay, okay. And then they got these other options, so we'll go ahead and go with the one that I have, which has got the red line on it. Test with EMED. Start the test. All right, test for me. Visit emed.com on another device with a webcam and click start testing. When you're ready to begin the test, answer on-screen questions and wait. Do not open test kit until asked to do so. All right, so we've got to scan the QR code. And I'll see which camera it uses. Allow Navica, yes. that would be probably the cue card on the back here. Yeah, so it's facing the other direction. Scan the code. So now, all right, so I need to sign in because I think I've already created an account. Test card is not valid. Scan. What the hell is it saying it's not valid now? need this thing to keep going back and forth and keep scanning and then saying it's not valid. Well, I need to check. I might as well check my profile to make sure. Okay, so I'm there. Okay, so it's got all my information in there. How's this not valid? Is this a new one? Yep. I don't know why it's, it's doing that. It should be doing that. Where'd 
for sure. You can't miss it. Yeah, I know. I just want to oh. check these numbers. I just want to see if they're all... These numbers are identical. Why do they send us six of them and you can only use one? <clears throat> These numbers are identical. It's the only one that works. Alright, well, stupid damn. We had to go to ex the extra route that I didn't that I didn't do because I didn't scan that. At least I don't I don't think I did. But we just went the other route. There's there's other routes. If the one scanning doesn't work, then it'll bring up two different boxes. You just um, pick whichever box is yours. <coughs> well, let's see here. Because for some reason, scanning doesn't always work either. People have been having problems with that. Alright, so let me do my email address again. Okay, you have an unopened test. Photo ID, yes. This is for travel. Let's see, carnival, traveling by air, no. What 
country are you currently in? The U.S. of A. Let's make sure your device is ready. They tested it, Seb. Yeah. All right, so it's going through all the... Okay, you have to scoot it up. No. Oh. Start. Okay. Yes, I hear the sound. Success. Microphone is checking. Yes, allow. I got the magic touch, Seb. Yeah. It likes you. It don't like me. Cameras. The cameras work, they just flip back and forth. Well, maybe yours won't do that because I don't think all of the cameras did it, but some, some of the cameras did and mine did it. So. Yeah, I was checking the internet. We have a nice connection. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our ISP sucks. I'm not a fan of it. Wish we had someone else, but no, man. Well, see, up in Pittsburgh, we have five. Yeah, you have one so here. you just pick who you want. All right, continue. <clears throat> am I ready to start the test? Uh, yeah, I am like ready to start this damn test. I'm getting a little pieced off. Oh. One moment, please. Oh, you're up next. There must not be too many people on online. Those weather's going to probably out. Yeah, I am. Yes. Hi, my name is Kimberly. I'll be your certified guide. Together, we will prepare and activate your task kit. If I ask, is this your first time taking tasks with EMAT? Yes. All right. Great. Welcome, to, welcome to EMAT, and to ensure that your task is supported, we will need to verify its expiration date. Please hold your task box with a white label on the back of the box. Your camera. Okay. Thank you, I got it. And may I please have the name? It's Rich. Are you still there? Hello? Hello, and thank you for choosing email. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Perfect. And hi, my name is Maria Chinami, and I'll be a certified guy together. We will prepare an active with your test kit. I was just asked if this is your first time taking a test with email? Yes. Wonderful. And welcome to email. And let me just see the expiration date on your test kit, please. <coughs> okay. Okay, it's Richard. Thank you. And your date of birth as well, please. Perfect. And can you 
hold your um, ID once again to your device. Camera, please, for me to double check. One moment. I just wanted you to now recharge that on your result. There will be no as your middle name. Is this okay with you? That's fine. All right. And also, I do see here that on your account, this is fine with you to receive it under this format. I'm going to send it to our chat panel. Yes, the way, it, the way it's shown, yes. All right. Thank you. And can you confirm that you're the owner of this account? Yes. Alright, if our connection drops, just click the reconnect button that will pop up on your screen. Alright. And I just wanted to um, ask on... Uh, we just hear that you get disconnected. May I just ask if what is the cause of that? I have is no idea. Your, um, um, on your device? Yeah, uh, no, it just suddenly went quiet. I, I was still connected, no one was speaking, so I have no idea what happened. Oh, I see. You got disconnected. Uh, oh, no worries. And if our connection drops, if we just click once again the reconnect button that will pop up on your screen, okay? Okay. And now, you may prop up your device on where I can see you and a test box at the same time. You may find something that can lean on your device so that you won't hold, have to hold it from time to time. Okay. Alright. And now you may open your test box and there should be a cell test card, a cell swap, and a dropper bottle. Okay, I've got all, all right, three. Perfect. You may now take a test card out of its package. Okay. And then we're going to scan the QR code on your test card. Once you're ready to get out, you may just hold it to your device camera. Okay. Let's see, we found the other camera here. Yes. Okay, have you been disconnected from your previous guide? Yes, it uh, just went quiet. I'm still trying to show the picture on the barcode here. I don't know what's going on with the signal. Okay. But... Okay, um, just for a quick verification, may I know your name and date of birth? Okay, may I please see your ID? See it? Okay, hold on a second. Yes, I can. Hold on a second. Move it back a little. Okay, thank you. What was the last step that you were doing before you got disconnected? I opened up the test card to show and scan the bark, I guess the Q code. And that's it. That's as far as I got. I was trying to scan the bark, the, the Q code, and I heard no response from the, uh, the other rep. Okay, thank you. We can still proceed with the process. Um, can you hold your test card again in front of your device camera to scan the QR code? Okay. Okay. Move it back a little. Okay, hold on a sec. Alright, thank you. Okay, now adjust the camera angle where I can also see the box. 
I mean, your test card on their table. Okay. Yeah, here's the other pieces here. Okay, thank you. Now open your test card and trim the two holes around the right side of the card and paste it on touch the inside of the test card. Okay. On the edge? Yeah. Okay. Can you see that? Can you move it a little closer to you so I can also see it? Okay, I can see it now. Thank you. Now remove the cap and hold the bottle vertically, half an inch, over the top hole. Okay. Okay. Okay, then slowly add six drops into the top hole of the card. Please let me know when you're finished. The top hole right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, six drops. Okay. All right. That six drops. That's six. Thank you. Now take the swap out without touching the phone tip. Okay. Here. Adjust the camera angle where I can see your face. Okay. Okay. okay, we are going to swab in the nostril beginning with your left. Insert right. the swab at least half an inch into your left nostril and rotate five times against the sides of your nostril. Move it around, brushing all the sides of your nostril. Okay. Thank you. Next, do the same for the right nostril. Adjust the camera back to the test card. Okay. Keep the card on the table and thread the swab through the bottom hole until visible in the top hole. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now twirl the swab shaft three times to the right and leave it in the card. Okay. Okay, can you twirl it one more time? Alright. Thank you. Now peel off the adhesive liner from the right edge of the test card. Okay. Then close the left side of the card and keep the card face up on the table. Okay. So in a moment we will activate your timer. The test card must stay flat and stationary. Do not touch the test card during this time. A certified guide will be with you in 15 minutes to assist you in interpreting your results. I'll play an informational video while you wait, and you are free to move away from the screen, but make sure you are back before the 15 minutes are up, okay? Okay. Alright, and I'll start the timer now. Thank you for choosing email. Alright, thanks. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why I kept getting disconnected. <clears throat> You can see the liquid kind of soaking up yeah. on the test there. So yeah, we'll be back in less than 15 minutes and we'll see the results and get mine wrapped up hopefully. And we got a minute to go. Less than a minute. It looks like my results are well, I just gotta wait for the guy to come back on. Hope I don't get disconnected again for the yeah, fourth or fifth time. Kept doing that, man. <clears throat> it's just a cheap track phone, but it didn't disconnect me or anything. Yeah. I just had trouble with the camera. Kept switching back and forth. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. <clears throat> as long as we got negatives and they mm -hmm. they already sent you your results to yeah. your phone, so mm -hmm. we're going we're to print those out and have them on the phone just in case. Probably best just to go ahead and have both in case one doesn't work. Which we're discovering technology ain't shit. Nope. <laughs> so, it's, it's very unreliable. Yeah. So we're about to go back on here in five, four, three, two, one. Bink. I'm ready. Hit rep.
Yes. So welcome back and thank you for waiting. My name is Ryan and I'll be your certified guide and together we will interpret and record your results. Okay. Now hold your task card in front of your device camera to scan the QR code and so I can see the results. Alright, that would be the other. Let's see. Alright. Just the back camera. Okay. Okay, just hold the task card a little bit away from the camera. Just hold it right there. Alright, thank you. Right. So there are three possible outcomes of the test. Positive, negative, and invalid. Please look at the result window in the front of the card and look carefully for pink lines. The line in the sample window can be very faint. So do you see two pink horizontal lines on the result? Yes. So, which one of the example matches with your screen? It shows a negative. Just one line. Alright, so do you only see a single pink horizontal line next to the word control and nothing on the sample? Right. Alright, thank you for confirming. So you have tested negative for COVID-19. If you experience COVID-related symptoms, you may require additional testing to confirm that you do not have COVID-19. And if you have questions, contact your healthcare provider or local or state health department. Yes, please wait to record your result. And if you're not able to receive your results within 15 minutes, you may contact our customer support. Just please get a copy of the link that was on your chat box. It'll be gone as soon as the session ends. Okay. So I already submitted your negative result. You may now dispose of the card, the dropper bottle, and the swab in your trash. Your test result and a digital pass will be sent to your Navig app. So thank you for choosing email and have a good one. Bye. Right, you too. Thank you very much. All right, so that's done. Let's see. Rate your proctors. Additional thoughts? Yeah, I got some thoughts. Signal kept dropping repeatedly, or multiple, multiple times. Signal dropped multiple times. I mean, the proctors are all right, but yeah, okay. So. So these these are two tests, you know. They both have the one single line on across um, control up at the top. When you get that pink line across there, that means that you are negative. So we got two, so we could go cruising on Monday. Yeah, we're going cruising. Going cruising, sir. Yeah. So there you go. A lot of this is going to be edited because there were some issues, you know. Well, of course, personal information we're not going to put out there. Um, but yeah, I was having issues with my signal. I have no idea why it kept dropping, but, uh, I mean, you got a track phone and I just have a AT&T, um, generic phone, you know, it's a, uh, radiant core. I really haven't had any issues with it, and then when I try to do something live, oh, I have issues with it, so. Anywho, all right, we're going to wrap this up. Our COVID tests are complete, and we got to print out the results, and we'll also have them on our phone. Yeah. So that way we should have one less thing to worry about getting on our boat so yeah, hope done. that helps you you know for those experiencing similar trips or whatever and you have to go through similar yeah, tests it's, it's not perfect there, there are, yeah. there's still some bugs in the system yeah, yeah. but we got it we got the results <laughs> yeah so. we got the results we need it so all right well there you go and until next time Bye, adios and stuff yeah.